rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Hey there, Super Coder! Today we're going to make a super fun game. Rock, paper, scissors! So open up Scratch and let's do it together! Ready? Cool! Let's start! First, we need a player hand and three buttons. One for rock, one for paper, and one for scissors. For the player sprite, create three costumes. One showing rock, one showing paper, and one showing scissors. Perfect! All set to code. Let's start with the rock button. We'll add a little hover animation. You know, that glowing effect when the mouse moves over it? From the looks category, grab set brightness effect to negative 10. Click it. See how it darkens a bit? <laughs> nice. Now grab another set brightness effect to zero to bring it back to normal. Here's the plan. We'll switch between these two blocks. If the mouse pointer touches the rock button, brightness equals negative 10. Else, brightness equals zero. Let's wrap this inside a custom block called choose and put that if else inside it. Then in the main code, grab a forever loop and call choose inside it. Don't forget to start it with when green flag clicked. Click the flag and hover over the rock button. Whoa, see that cool hover effect? Awesome. Now, when we click the rock button, the player hand should show rock, right? So to do that, inside our choose block, under the if condition, let's add another if block with the condition mouse down. Now let's create a variable called RPS. That stands for rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Inside the if mouse down block, set RPS to R, because we need to tell our player that the button they clicked is for rock. Finally, let's broadcast a message. We can call it chosen. When the rock button is clicked, we want our player to change its costume to rock, right? So go to the player sprite and add the block switch costume to rock. <laughs> Try clicking it. See? The costume changes to rock. Cool! Now we want this switch to happen only when the rock button is clicked. But how will the player know that the rock button was clicked? That's where broadcast messages we add already in the rock button sprite. Then in the player sprite, add the block when I receive chosen. Next, we need to make sure the player changes to the rock costume only if the rock was selected. Now in the player sprite, use an if block with the condition RPS equals R. If that's true, then switch the costume to rock. And don't forget to wrap everything inside a forever block, because we need this check to keep running continuously. Click the rock button, and boom, the player's hand becomes rock. Let's make it more exciting with a little shake animation before showing the result. Grab a turn 3 degrees block, then duplicate it and make the second one turn negative 3 degrees. Put both inside a repeat 9 block to make the hand shake back and forth. Then wrap that in another repeat three so it shakes three times. Like, rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Place this right after when I receive chosen. Here, one important thing to consider. <laughs> Go to the costume for our player sprite and place the player on the center at this plus mark. And try how the movement look like. Oh no, it not we want. So always make sure that our sprite will be not in the plus mark. <sighs> cool now. Oh no! What if a naughty kid keeps clicking the rock button again and again? We don't want that. Let's fix it. <clears throat> Create a variable called active. In the rock button code, right after broadcasting chosen, set active equals yes. Now add an if else block. If active equals yes, then stop the other scripts. Else, run choose. Put this whole thing inside a forever loop under when green flag clicked. But wait, it's not working yet. Why? Because we never reset active to no. So under when green flag clicked, set active equals no. Now test it out. Perfect. The button works only when it's supposed to and resets after each round. Now let's do the same for the paper and scissors buttons. Copy the entire rock button code into both sprites. Then, just change the details. For paper, set RPS equals P. For scissors, set RPS equals S. In the player sprite, duplicate the if RPS equals R code two times. One for paper, 
If RPS equals P, switch costume to paper. One for scissors. If RPS equals S, switch costume to scissors. Click the flag and test. Woohoo! It works!